The inspiration for the latest book by Vatican journalist Juan Vicente Bo came where he least expected it, on the papal plane. Considered one of the most thorough journalists in Rome, Juan Vicente Bo has been a Vatican correspondent for Spanish newspaper ABC for 20 years. He is often recognized for his inside knowledge of how the Pope and his aides conduct their business, which he reveals in his book, Deciphering the Vatican. I don't know if it will be of much help to Pope Francis. I would like for it to help people better understand his infinite patience, the challenges of his work, and the multiple levels at which he operates. Less than half a square kilometer, the Vatican is the smallest country in the world in terms of population and area. Yet it is also one of the most influential. The Pope's character and ideas bear upon Catholics around the world, as well as people of all faiths. It's worth the effort to make sense of the Vatican for a number of reasons, even if only because it is the oldest country in the world, or because it has existed for 2,000 years. Today the media is full of fake news, and having even minimal knowledge about the Vatican and the Pope's work can help you differentiate between the real and the fake. Through personal recollections, anecdotes, and analysis, Juan Vicente Bo lays out the Pope's efforts to appoint more women to positions of authority in the Church, his crackdown on corruption in the Vatican Bank, and the differences between what he writes in an encyclical and what he says in a press conference on a plane. The book also highlights the fundamental reforms the Pope is preparing for the government of the Church. This reform will be very important because it will change the culture of the Vatican. It's a very clear return to the Church's origins. That's why he is titling his apostolic constitution, Preach the Gospel, which is ultimately the main objective of the Church. He is also moving the Church toward a very pronounced culture of service, so that the Church can fulfill its more fundamental objectives with a simpler structure. Deciphering the Vatican is the product of years spent studying and analyzing how the Pope and those around him operate. It's a seminal work that, as of now, is only available in Spanish, but is soon destined to become a classic. She could die at any moment. It was 2011. Ten years later, that medical diagnosis has not come true, thank God. It's all thanks to the intercession of John Paul II, who still helps others today. These cases are not the only ones. More than 15,000 testimonies of extraordinary favors attributed to Carol Wojtyla have reached the Vatican. Even a relic with a few drops of his blood gathers crowds in the streets and lead to countless new miracles. John Paul II is still alive.